Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tori and this is a Celebrated Mess. Today, we are going to do altered playing cards. Uh, there's so many different ways to do this and there's a lot of good tutorials out there, but I just wanted to play with some altered playing cards and bring you along for the journey. So what I do with mine is I like to put a uh, white gesso on them and that way it um, takes off the shine. It allows you to write on them. It makes it rough. You could use sandpaper to do this trick if you wanna get some muscle into it. You can take sandpaper and take the shine off. Or um, if you like the look of the playing card without it being like whited over, you could use clear gesso um, to help take that shine off and make it so that you could write on it. I just like, because it's so busy on the back, painting it over with white gesso is going to allow you to write on the back of the card. Now, of course, you could always take some coffee dyed paper and attach it to the back, sew it on there if you want to, or just glue it down with some really strong adhesive. And then that way you can have a journaling spot. Um, but I think they're cute just this way. And we're gonna ink them up so that they're not just stark white. Um, but I love the way altered playing cards come out. It's really fun to play with. So um, let's crack on, as Julie from Camellia Crafts Creation says, let's crack on and uh, let's just have some fun. I did pull in, I have this whole little bin full of scraps here that will probably pull some stuff in. I've got some Tim Holtz botanical die cuts, some Paper Studio um, die cuts here. It has a whole bunch of really pretty random things. Some Tim Holtz layers, engraving um, things. I have um, a Tim Holtz snippets and fragments packet. Um, this stickers came in, um, I think from Tapeology is what I believe they're stickers. Um, I believe that's from Tapeology. And then I have some Tim Holtz dolls. And um, I like using dolls on alternate on altered playing cards because they're I think they're really cute. But um, I want I have some distress oxide vintage photo bundled sage and forest moss that we're going to use to um, color up these cards. I've never used bundled sage or forest moss, but we're gonna get brave and do something new. And um, I'm going to use these colors and just see see what they're like. Nice and juicy. That's a very pretty color. I do like to just maybe color the whole thing. That's pretty. Of course, you can always just ink around the edges if you don't want to color up the whole card. I like that. I think I am going to use vintage photo to go around the edge to see what that looks like. That's kind of nice, real earthy. I've got some mushroom stamps I may pull out and see how that looks on here. I've never, I don't think I've ever stamped on an altered playing card directly. So I'm assuming because of the gesso that the ink will not smear. Um, but we may try that out and see how it looks. So I do like to collage a little bit on these. So let's see. Have a little. I'm going to use my Scotch Create glue stick. Uh, 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> this one might be done. Yep. This one might be done. Let me get a different one. Give me just a second. Voila. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to ink this up. So today is Sunday when I'm recording this, and it's a beautiful day outside, but it is freezing cold. It looks deceptively warm. You go outside, and it's like, sweet Jesus, let me back in. But it's a relaxing day. I'm taking my Sabbath very seriously this week. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I have some book page. This is from a very delicate um, dictionary. You can use all kinds of scraps on these things too. Altar playing cards can be a good scrap buster. Just pull out a bunch of what you got and uh, make it happen. we got in here. I like this. Hmm. Let's see. I think I'm going to take some scissors. I want one of those little tools that's a uh, Stuff up your papers, but in reality, you don't need it. You can take a good pair of scissors. Like these are Tim Holtz scissors. They're very sharp. So you just have to be careful. But it scuffs up your paper quite nice without needing one of those little tools. I'm one of those people, though, that likes to have the tool for everything, which, you know, goes for unnecessary spending. <laughs> I'm a spender. I'm getting better. I have not bought any craft supplies since, like, the end of January. Um, I, uh ordered a kit in January that came in February. That was kind of cool. The My Hero Arts monthly premium kit. And I played with that. Recently did a video of the project share for a project share. Let's see. I want this word fairy on here, but even though it's not complete, it's kind of missing the F. All right, let's see if we can pull out one of our things. I love these little dolls. These are just too cute. 
he's a little too tall. Well, I may not mind that he's too tall. Oh, she's pretty, but she covers up my fairy word. She kind of covers up the whole card. Although I guess I could sit her over here and then cut off the edge. That wouldn't be terrible. I'm gonna let her hang over the top and bottom just a little bit and probably give her some color. I like that. Let's ink up her edges here. Let's see, I think I might use some art glitter glue on this. Stay in frame. Get to anchor her here on this bottom piece of paper. Looks like she's sitting on it. And then we'll just cut off the side of her dress. I'm going to leave her feet dangling. Now that's just cute. Look at that. Very simple, just simple collaging with a little paper doll. And you can write on the back. Let me get some more glue under her feet here. So that stays on there. You can write on the back. I kind of want to put a number stamp. I don't know if I have. I think my number stamp might be too big. This is kind of big. Yeah, I don't want it to be on her face, which I mean, I guess I could mask it off. I'm potentially doing something here that could ruin it. <laughs> but I want to try. I want to try and see let's see here I have this masking tape I don't think it's fantastic but it's got gunk all over it Okay, so I'm gonna mask off this part and this part because I just want that 058. So let me get my black ink. Okay, take off the masking tape. I'm gonna wipe off that little extra. And then stamp it right here at the top. Yeah, man. I don't think it'll smear, 
but we're gonna let it dry and then we'll come back and touch it. and see how it does. So that, you know, I might use some of these background texture stamps on there. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Let me just where do I put it? Here, let's put it right there. Okay. So that's one done. She's super cute. Look at that. I love that. And it's a journaling card that goes in a journal. It's a journaling card that goes in a journal. All right, that's one down. Let's put her aside. Okay. Put those out of the way. All right, next, let's see. Do we want to collage some more? I have some, some book page right here. I might just kind of want to let's just tear some off. Oh, we want to ink it first. Let's try this bundled sage. I think I might want to use a different sponge. I like these Distress Oxide inks. I want the whole kit. I want the whole set. But they're expensive. They are expensive indeed. This is a very pretty color. That's nice. All right, I think I'm gonna use the vintage photo to go around. Oh, let's, you know, let's do the moss around the edge. A little darker green. I think this is begging for a mushroom stamp. Nice little frame. I like that. Put this in there. All right, so I think I'm gonna ink these in the porous moss instead of vintage photo.
What have you guys done this weekend? Yesterday, I had a work day. Um, where I work, we rescue food, good food, from like grocery stores and restaurants and stuff like that. And then we redistribute it to those who are food insecure. And we also have extra programs, like we have a diaper program. So for moms who need help with buying diapers, we're able to give them a couple of bundles of diapers a month. And um, we have other programs too, like we have an Etsy shop and we have school supplies and Christmas. So this Saturday, we, um, we did a work day where we moved all of our extra programs to a new partner that we have, this church. That's um, in Bessemer. Oh, that's pretty. It is a little too big, but I don't think I care. I can trim off the edge. You can't really see the collaging, but I can always add something down here and up here. That is really cute. And just trim it off the side. I might do that. That's cute. All right, so let's add a couple more collaging. So um, we had 231 people show up to volunteer to help us move from a community house and that we had stuff stored in to this new location, this new church. Let's see. Let's add some music. And um, we got everything organized and our we we distribute diapers in the week of the fourth Thursday of the month. And so that's that's this coming week. And we got it all set up. And uh, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of my volunteers. I actually, one of them is going to take over from me as the in-person distribution leader. And uh, I was going to go and help them, you know, make sure they got through their first month in a new place with ease. And they, both my volunteers were like, nope, we got this. Don't come. And I'm like, I just wanted to cry because, oh, that's the wrong. Whoopsie. Cross-contamination there. It'll be all right. And uh, I just wanted to cry because I was just so happy about that. And I'm just proud of them for being able to take over. And I'll let them have direction on how they set the place up, you know, to make it most conducive for them and how they wanted to run things. And they really took over and made it look nice. And I'm just really proud of them. And so that's what I did this weekend. what I did yesterday got to go out on Friday with my best friends we have uh, our best friends as a couple and uh, we got to go have dinner with them on Friday so that was nice and today I'm taking a day off it's been a very busy week. Got to watch church online. It was a very good message about hearing the voice of the Lord and how your heart needs to be ready to hear the voice of the Lord. And you do that by spending regular time with him in his word. And if you, the more time you spend with the Lord in his word, the more prepared your heart becomes to hear the voice of the Lord. God still speaks to us. It's not meant for the spiritually elite. He didn't stop speaking to us after Revelation was written. He still speaks to his children today because he is the same God today as he was in the very beginning. He's the same God he was when he rose Christ from the dead. He's the same God to us as the God he was to the first disciples. 
God wants an active relationship with us. I just think that is so pretty. He wants an active relationship with us. All right, I need my pen, my little pen. I'm getting clogged. I am grateful to serve a God who wants to be in relationship with me. He wants intimacy with me. And we can have it. He gives us bold access through Christ to his throne of grace that we may find mercy and grace in our time of need. God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. We are privileged children of the Most High. If we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. All right, let's trim off the edge. I think that's really pretty. Does it need anything else? Wish I could hear you say so. Or is it pretty just the way it is? I'm thinking it's pretty just the way it is, but I'm getting ink all over my fingers. That's okay, it'll wash off. I'm thinking it's pretty just the way it is. And you can write on the back of it. I almost want to add a button. Let's see what kind of buttons we have. Uh, Not a button, but it's pretty cute. Kind of like that. Almost like a golden drop of sunshine dripping down on the flower. Let's get out my fabri -Tac. to draw so that's pretty and you can still see the nine of hearts so you can tell it's an altered playing card which of course there's the back so I think that's very pretty I'll set that one to dry let's pull this out the ink looks dry and it's not smearing okay so stamping on it works very nice all right let's do another one let's do the jack um kind of want to use something from here like this kind of covers up the whole card covers up the whole middle which is not bad I actually like that I kind of want to pull out this little mushroom put it on there maybe put this up to the corner this down in this corner 
Maybe I can back it with some, some book page or music paper. All right, let me put my buttons away. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do Distress Oxide on this one. Or uh, Distress Oxide, the vintage photo. Let's see, what color should we go around it? I think I have... Green burlap. Walnut stain, that's what I want. Okay, I have some walnut stain here and distress ink. See if it'll darken it on the edges. Oh yeah. Makes it look really old. This uh, vintage photo, Distress Oxide. I like it. To me, it looks really vintage. All right, so we're gonna use this to ink this up. Oh, let's see, we wanted to put some book page down. this right here. I think I'm going to add a little more down there. There we go. in. I 
I guess I could have turned that into a tiny pocket if I wanted to. That would have been cool. dome with mushrooms in it. I like that. Let's see. Is there anything else that needs to be added to it? Maybe not. There's this tiny butterfly in here. I kind of like that. Let's add that. the butterfly. That's cute. That would be really cute in a little bit tangible journal. That's cute. All right, let's see. What do we want to do with this? These are kind of big pieces. That would be neat. Let it hang off the edge. That's cool. Let's see. Oops. Mm. Maybe on the back. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I almost want to pull out a different color of ink. Maybe get a little book page in here. Let's see. Let's color it up. I want to do this vintage photo again.
some of the gesso is coming off because I got so much junk on my fingers. Let me wipe my fingers off. need to wear gloves. It's just my fingers are just taking the ink off. Should probably let them dry. All right, moving on. Let's get this book page inked up. It's very delicate paper. My dolls are trying to run away. Let's see. This is going to go on there. And then this is going to go right there. It's kind of just going to cover it all up. So... I might just save it for something else. I'm gonna ink this up with the vintage photo. down this white a little bit. There. Now this is a sticker.
Yep, I'm just gonna let that hang off the edge. That's really cute. See how easy this is to make these altered playing cards? It doesn't take any time at all. It'd be cool to have one with a wax seal on it. I can pull out my wax seal kit. Is that more than what I want to do? Mm. I'm going to do another doll. Oh, he's adorable. He's just asking to be on that card. Look, he's perfect. All right. Let's do... Do I want to do the frost forest moss again? He's kind of asking to be on a vintage photo. I don't think I'm gonna ink around it this on this one. Let's see, does he want some background stamps or some paper, some book page? Maybe some of this. Is that too girly for him? I've got some This is cute. cute. All right. Let's use the walnut stain.
darken this up a little. Get off these white edges. This guy is too cute. He needs something though. I might do the 058 again over here or something. Let's see. Maybe a. He needs something in the background. this magnifying glass. That's kind of cool. Maybe he wants to be a detective when he grows up. He does not need a beetle. Or this cool little hat. Because he's a gentleman. Oh, he's resting his hand on it. That's cute. Let's go with that. I think that looks really cute. Let me ink this up. Getting hungry, y'all. Gonna have to go eat something real quick. We're here in a minute. Yep, I think I'm gonna do that. Uh, mask this off again. here and then I'll stamp it. This kid is too cute.
That's cute. That is too cute. Look at him. He's adorable. <laughs> I kind of want... I don't guess anything right there would make a difference. I wanted to put a mushroom, but I think that just wouldn't go well. But I think I'm going to do a mushroom card for this last one. Um, so I'm going to use the forest moss. I'm going to get out some mushroom stamps. I'm thinking that it may want some book page. This may be right down the edge. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. That one. I think I might have to get out my Misty, my Misty, my Stampin' Apparatus from Stampin' Up and uh, make sure it gets a good ink impression on there. I think I like, I want that to be the focus, so. Let me put this away. This is going to be cute. Hope it comes out okay. Is that gonna ink it up on there okay? Yep, I think it's gonna go right to the edge.
Oh gosh, it didn't even ink it at all. Why? Let's move out these magnets. Beans. That is discouraging. It is just not wanting to leave a good mark. I wonder why. Like some of it is just not, I wonder why. All right, let's see. Hold up. We're going to, this may ruin it, but I'm going to try something here. Well, that worked. Just bearing down really hard. <laughs> ah, the only part that it didn't get is this. Let's try again. Bearing down really hard. That's a little better. I wonder if I could draw in the rest of it. That looks all right. That looks all right. Okay. Well, I don't know if the stamps are cheap or the stamps, they feel cheap. Or if it's the stamping apparatus and maybe I would have done better putting it on a stamp block. You don't know until you try, right? Sometimes you gotta ruin things to learn how stuff goes. But I think it came out okay. I don't think it's ruined. So, question is, does it need something else? I almost wish I had a tiny bird. there are any tiny birds in here but there was one in here I think there it is it's a swallow put him flying over the mushroom I mean, he's kind of cute. Maybe I can distress him up a little. Why not? Put him on there. Put him on there. I like that. It's simple. 
I like the book page with the mushroom. I hate that it didn't ink out, you know, all the way, but we made it work. It's all right. And I like the little swallow. So we made six of these. Just to show you again. Our cute little fellow. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We have this cute little guy and our mushroom. And then this pretty one with the mushroom and the butterfly. Our pretty little girl with the fairy, fairy word, which is just a beautiful script. Our little dress form. And then this pretty flower with the drop of sunshine. Yep, and it's on there. Is it on there? Is it going to stay? It's moving around. Maybe it's not all the way dry. It shouldn't be moving around. Maybe it just needs more time to dry. So that's it. Altered playing cards. Super simple to make. You can make them out of anything. Out of any kind of scraps. Any kind of ephemera that you have. I think they turned out really well. They're really pretty. I'm very satisfied. So I hope you enjoyed this process um, and make your own altered playing cards for your junk journals that you can write on the back. Sweet little journaling cards. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite. I'm not sure. I think mine that's favorite is this one with the little girl. Although I really like the flower and the boy. I like them all. <laughs> okay. Um, I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye.